Good evening, everyone. Uh, it is I, Penny, the president of C president of Whitney Art LLC, and we are out this evening at the Cole Tower. If you can see in the background, this is the subject that Whitney will be sketching out this evening, and the subject that we will be painting this coming up Saturday from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Um, it's a beautiful structure. I love this structure. Uh, I I just love the I love everything about it. I love the colors. I love the windows being broken out. I love the rustic. The just it's just beautiful. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, so this is probably going to be one of my favorites that um, that I um, that Whitney's going to do. Which of course I say that with all of the ones that Whitney does. So <laughs> you know we'll see. And also, in case y'all didn't notice or didn't see it, last night Whitney was featured on WMAZ Channel 13 News, and there was a really very great article, or well, there was an article, but there was a great interview that he had um, yesterday. Um, so let's go ahead and turn it over to Whitney and get him to start sketching this out for us and see what kind of magic he works tonight. All right. This I'll sketch just to, for compositional purposes on the back of it so I can get an idea of where I might want to put everything. It is a nice breeze out here. Actually, it, it's not windy right now. It is, and here I'll take, turn this over to Penny. It's not windy right now, and it's wet. It's a little wet out here, but wet is okay. If it's not raining too bad, even if it's just got a little misty, that would be fine because I'll use a spray bottle anyway. <clears throat> now, I've, what I've done right here is I, I just want to put everything where I, want, uh, where I want it on the canvas. And what I'll do is take the, the center of this coal tower and move it in a little bit on the, on the composition that we're going to do Saturday. So, what I'm thinking here, because this chute, this chute comes out to here, I don't want to get it too close to the edge, so I'll put that somewhere in here and go to this area. Uh, so that that go that gives me this this part of it where I can put the windows here and this form this rectangular it, it to me this particular rectangle right here looks like a golden ratio and I will check the measurements on that for y'all and get back to you on that so here I'm just getting some general indications of where everything's gonna go what it's gonna look like I'm using the windows for reference right there. So we have this building. This angle iron. Beautiful shadows in there. The sun will it looks like and we're not we don't know we've got a lot of cloud cover right now. You know what? I might have to. I might have to lower this down a little bit. We might go a little bit lower. We might bring everything. We'll see. We'll see where we're at. We want to put this, the top, so that it's not too far up. This is about my limit right here. I want to start here, and have a nice balance overall. So I may even come down with it a little bit more and bring this down to here we'll see i'll think about it um let me know what you guys think i think it looks it looks a little bit better to have a general balance and flow of everything since we're going to have something over here where the shoot We'll be able to exaggerate a lot of things. 
Uh, have, where are we gonna put the ground? We'll start putting some tree forms. We'll have this tree. I'll put this tree in here. This tree may be fun to put in there. And all of these trees and vines and, and that tree. We may uh, cut, top, cut the top of that tree off artistically and stop that there and have some sky in between the shoot. We'll raise that up a little bit and give it another angle. And the angles are absolutely phenomenal out here. Woof. Aren't they beast gorgeous? I don't know what it is. I, you know what? I do know what it is about this tower. It's golden ratios. This, the architecture uh, at this time really took, took uh, really understood the value of aesthetically pleasing structures. So what do you mean by golden ratio? A golden ratio is whatever this is, whatever that number is right here, if that equals whatever that equals, if you multiply it by 1.618 mm -hmm. or 1, I'm going to have to verify that, honey, okay. because sometimes I get my numbers mixed up. It's either 1.618 there and you it'll get this side right here and that's what the that's what usually business cards baseball cards um cereal boxes the golden ratio is everywhere in nature and it's also referred to it's called the fibonacci sequence where you know if you have a well you know what we'll get in yeah, <laughs> we won't do that yeah. we'll um this this is so interesting here look right where the x is where i want to put the windows so this will i brought it in a little bit and we'll think about what we want to do with this angle iron here and these stairs this is amazing. So, let's see. If that's really pretty much it right there. Here the plan is the plan is this. We'll put another tree, big tree right here and that'll be it right there. That's a beautiful tree. I'm gonna go find out what that tree is. Uh, get a few leaves, see what the color is. Might put the, the driveway right here and that's it. So this will be blue, blue gray with a little green in here. Um, lots of nice shapes in here. Then we'll start uh, getting this metal shed right in here and what I'll, I'll probably start with some dark stuff in there we're gonna go dark right in here right in there's nice darks with some uh, burnt umbers what I'll do here I will make the windows and not I won't do anything plain air on that and I want to I don't know if I want to do this at Ala Prima I wanted to take this back to the studio and put all the little steps in there and all of the window panels and which one, which ones are which one of the ones are knocked out we'll just get a snapshot of it it's in 2020 because it's absolutely beautiful it is. the golden ratios are pleasing and what that is nobody can explain it really there's been vast studies done on the golden ratio it's a thing that nature does that we, I don't know, we really can't duplicate. Okay, so this is where we're at on this. This is the plan. Um, I wanna, what I'd like to do is right at this point, 
take a picture of it the way I'm looking at it. I'm really close to this thing. I'm really, really close to it. We, we don't know what I want to do with the sky, but I can have the sky kind of pointing and pulling in and having the, I can have the small clouds in the background and bring it down to where I've got some nice white uh, in the in the distance here we'll give it a lot of depth and bring this all out so in here the here's what the trick uh, the the trick is about this I've got the transparency mixing white if if I want to use the brown I want my brown on this tower to be at full chroma so that I don't want to add any white to it. <clears throat> so with acrylic, instead of adding white, I will just reduce the pigmentation of it and get toward the threshold of where it starts to separate. And this is where the watercolor um, classes experience comes in. What makes it so beautiful to me? What makes it absolutely gorgeous? And it's something that I've, worked for my entire art career it, because it's it I gasp when I get to see uh, the finished product and I can really I don't know if anybody can relate to this but I kind of find it hard to 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 believe that I actually did this and it's like speaking a language um, I was told and when it slows down I have been told, well, Whitney, you make it look so easy. You make it look like I, anybody can do this. And it looks like anybody can do this, and you can do this, and it's in every single one of us to do this. All you have to do is understand that you can, the whole point is, and what we want you to do is make mistakes. What you think is a mistake because we understand not, we don't all have the same idea of what a mistake is. And Penny can, can tell you, I, I'm, I make a lot of mistakes, but what we do is we will overcome those mistakes. First, I have to realize that I've made a mistake and be okay with it. I'm okay with it. That line doesn't have to be perfect. I want to get my general shapes in here and it's okay that this is a big blob looking thing because that's not what that tree looks like. So technically that is not a mistake even though it's technically that is wrong because it, that's not what that tree looks like. But welcome to the art world where you are the creator and you are the designer and that you are the composer of whatever makes you happy with, and that's what plain air is about. And that's what we wanna do when you come out here and you can see where we'll set up anywhere. You can set up anywhere. I chose this place, this particular location because I wanted to put the chute of the coal, coal tower in between in in between here so I can have some sky in there I'll take that tree out so I can have just some light blue right in here and and that's what we'll do we had a comment Cheryl Trexler hey Cheryl said my idea of drawing a person is a stick figure and then it's so so I can't imagine having your talent you do have my talent you absolutely do have it and you will develop it if you so choose mm -hmm. and in a stick figure i started out with a stick figure i would i draw the uh, the the number five if you see i will draw the number five draw the number five like that and then you can make some uh tiger manes and you've got his tiger teeth and you can make an eye right here and a nose and a tongue. And you've got a lion. Wow, that's really cool. Out of the number five. And if you draw a figure eight sideways and a hat and another thing down here, 
and a smiley face and some eyes you can have a cowboy <laughs> now i know you can do better than that cheryl so get out your pen pencils and look i brought two pencils today so you can uh know some art technicalities this the pencil that is labeled a 2b means that it's soft the b is a soft and this is what it looks like and this is another pencil is the 2h the 2h is a little bit lighter and the h stands for i guess hard it's a little bit harder and this is what it looks like right so that's a different so you, there are different kinds of pencils keep that in mind and if you can do you can do a one tone stick figure your ace is in my book and you are as far as i'm concerned a world-class artist because it is not easy to draw a stick figure now i will show you because a lot of times you want to get the head too big so start with a, a small head and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how tall your person is gonna be. And of course, about in the middle, you're gonna have the middle part of him or her. And then you've got your legs and your, your, your feet. And right in here somewhere, you're gonna have your arms. They're gonna come down to where you're, you can see where you're at right my hand is my hand if you were drawing me my hand would be right here in the middle of my thigh so my hand would be here and i would have a hand here if i had my arms laying down so there you go cheryl what i want you to do is draw this stick figure right here <laughs> start there Start somewhere, <laughs> start right there, draw that stick figure and send it to me. I want to see it yeah. and sign it. Sign it. S <laughs> for Cheryl. Right. I hope you're still watching. We love you, Cheryl. We miss you a lot. And so anyway, we want to have fun. And if you want to draw, paint, uh, we're going to paint Saturday. We're going to bring out the paints. Today we got the 2H and the 2B. And the whole idea is what we want to do. And you can come out, if you want to come, I would encourage you, if you really want to, if you're really interested in this and you want to do this with us, come out anytime you want to. Look at it, scout out yourself a location. Uh, if you maybe want to get whatever angle you want to get and get a, a feel for it, look at it, look at how you want to put it on the canvas or the, your, your note, notepad, and don't let material stop you. You can get some eight by 10 paper and any kind of pencil and get the idea of it. And uh, from there, we'll, we will go from there. Excited about it. So do you have any other questions? I'm going to see you guys Saturday. Saturday, and, and we're going to have fun. Right. And again, we are at the Coal Tower in downtown Macon. Um, it is, what is the address, Whitney? 989 7th Street. 989 7th Street. So, um, as Whitney was saying, we're going to be on, we're going to be here um, this coming Saturday from 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock, uh, painting the tower at this point. That's the next step in this beautiful process. And we would love for anyone to come out just to say hello to us. Uh, we, of course, would love for you to, to paint with us, but if you just want to stop by and say, and say hello, that would be fantastic. We would like that. Um, and one more time, just a reminder, if you didn't see it yesterday, uh, Whitney was on WMAZ Channel 13 here in Macon. Um, he was featured on, uh, a, had a feature interview, and it was, it was 
it was a great interview. I, of course, I'm a little biased, but I think it was a great interview. Um, all right, that is all for this evening, y'all. And we are happy to, to be here. We, are, we love you all, and we would love to see y'all come out and be with us this coming Saturday. And y'all take care. Okay. And that's the that's the sketch part. Like I said, the idea is just to get the feel of it. All right. See y'all Saturday. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Thank